welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Megan. I'm a 24 year old mama to a five month old little boy named Rowan and I make lots of motherhood and lifestyle videos. So if that sounds up your alley, I would love it if you would click that subscribe button down below. Today's video is all about baby wearing. Baby wearing has saved my life <laughs> the last five months because our little baby boy is very fussy. Um, he wants to be held all the time. When he was a newborn, he would only nap on us. And because of that, I feel like I have tried every baby carrier on the market to figure out which one is the best for us and our family. And today I'm going to be reviewing four of the most popular ones. I'm also gonna be doing a try on, I guess, of how you get them on and off. Because for me, that's a major part of deciding which one is best because ones that are very difficult to get the baby in and out of by yourself are obviously not ideal if you're alone with your little one. So I will make sure to show that as well. These are beautiful. This one is made of linen and it has these beautiful rose gold rings on it. And when I put this on, I feel like it's just a part of my outfit. It is super cute and aesthetically pleasing. However, it hurts my back. Um, I feel like it doesn't distribute the baby's weight very evenly. And yes, I am wearing it correctly. I've done the baby wearing consultation and the whole thing. Some people really love ring slings, but for me personally, I found this one kind of uncomfortable. I do wear it for like shorter periods if I'm like feeling a little bit schnazzy and I, I wanna feel like my baby wearing gear is extra cute. Um, it is packable, which is really great if you wanted something that you can throw in a diaper bag. So that's definitely a pro to this one. Another pro of this one is that it is very easy to get on. I have no problems doing this by myself and it's fairly quick because you just put the baby in and then you tighten the rails to make sure that they're secure and it is also very easy to get them out of. So if you are home alone and you don't want to deal with a bunch of like buckles and loops and all that kind of stuff, this might be a good one for you. The reason that I'm still including this in this video, even though I don't use it very often for my baby, is this one is actually really great for pregnancy. So when you have, you know, your big pregnant belly, it can get very uncomfortable and heavy on your back and you can actually use this to support your baby bump um, and I think it's really cool so I'm gonna be keeping this for my next pregnancy because it is way cuter than the you know velcro black belly band you can get at Target. So for the wild bird ring sling you actually put it on over your head kind of like a sash and you want to make sure that the rings are kind of at the top of your shoulder so that they have a little bit of room to move down into the proper position when you are tightening your rails. You grab your little baby and go ahead and put him or her in the wrap. When they're newborn, you actually do a legs in style, but when they get a little bit bigger like Rowan, you can let their legs hang out a little bit. So I'm just taking this bottom rail and pulling it up over his legs and tucking it in between, kind of like under his booty. Then you take the fabric that's coming out of the rings and you pull the top rail to tighten the part that's around their shoulders and the bottom rail to tighten the part that's under their little butt. Once baby is all tight and secure, you can kind of reposition their legs. I usually do this part in a mirror, so Rowan's legs aren't in the perfect position and the ring is actually a little bit low on my shoulder because I obviously couldn't see what I was doing, but he's still nice and snug and secure and you can obviously still fiddle with it until you get the perfect fit. And then to get your baby out of the ring sling, you just use your arm to support their little butt and you loosen the fabric that's in between the two rings, pulling it all the way through to that top rail where their shoulders are, and then you can just lift them up and out. This one's very easy to get your baby in and out of so this one's a really great one to use if you're home alone. So continuing with those kind of softer, less structured carriers, the next one I wanna talk about is the wrap. This one is from Sully Baby. Um, and spoiler alert, I am obsessed with these. I have four of them, which I know is a little excessive, but they are so great. First of all, this is one of the most affordable options. I believe these are $65, which compared to all of the other ones, which are well over a hundred, is a really good price point. And you can even get them cheaper if you get them used on like Mercari or Kitizen or Facebook Marketplace. They are so soft and they have so many cute patterns. So no matter what your style is, you can find one that's gonna work for you. They're also very easy to put on once you get the hang of it. So you do have to watch the tutorial to figure out how to kind of like wrap it and tuck it under and tie it around. But once you get the hang of it, it is so, so easy and quick to put on. This is my favorite for day-to-day -day use. I use these pretty much every day, um, just around the house to do dishes or cook when little man wants to be held, um, but I have stuff to get done. The biggest positive for the Sully Baby Wraps for me is that they are comfortable. They distribute your baby's weight really well, and I don't feel like my shoulders are hunched over, I don't feel like my back is hurting, and I can wear them for very long periods of time without 
feeling like my back needs a break. The other thing is that these are great for newborns. So this saved my life when Rowan was really tiny and he only ever wanted to nap on mom or dad because I could put him in the wrap and kind of tuck his head in the fabric portion so his neck was supported and he would fall asleep on me and I could go about my day and work and clean and do whatever I needed to do. Um, but he still felt like he was being snuggled. So it was just like extra baby snuggles all the time, which was super awesome. And Rowan was not a good sleeper. So getting those naps in any way we could was essential. And this was the only way in many days. The only cons of these ones that I've experienced are that if your baby is very wriggly, um, like when they get a little bit older, they can kind of mess up the folds and you have to adjust it to make sure they're nice and snug and secure. We have days where Rowan is a little bit more wriggly and so I'll use a more structured carrier and we have days where he's totally chill in this. The other thing is that it's probably not the best for heavy long use. Like if you're going on a hike, you probably want something more structured, but this is the best in my opinion for a day to day. So the Solly Wrap looks kind of complicated when you first see it, but it's actually very, very easy and quick to put on. So the first thing you do is find the middle of the wrap. And for the Solly Baby Wrap, there's a little tag right in the middle that you can use to identify where you need to put it around your stomach. And you want to do it with the pattern facing outward so you can tell that you're not getting twisted. So you wrap that around your tummy and then you pull the opposite side over the opposite shoulder, creating an X in the back. And you can take all of the extra fabric from the wrap and pull it through that part around your midsection. Cross those over to make another X. Pull them back around you and then tie in a double knot in the front. Then you put your baby up on the opposite shoulder of the piece of fabric that's closest to your body. Put their leg through and stretch the fabric all the way around to the other side of their butt. Then you repeat this on the other side. And finally pull that first piece of fabric that you wrapped around your midsection all the way up above their legs. Again, if they're a newborn, you can do a legs in carry, but Rowan's five months, so we're doing legs out. And that's it. This one is so comfortable, very soft. And like I said, they have lots of really cute patterns, which I love. This is definitely our most used wrap. I use one of these every single day. So to get him out of this, I'm just gonna untie the knot at the bottom and make sure to support his weight while I loosen those two top pieces of fabric. And again, just like the ring sling, at this point you can just kind of pull him up and out and then untangle yourself from the wrap and put it away. This one's also really cool because it does have a little pocket built into the end of it. So you can just fold it up and put it in a neat little package all inside of itself. So we also have a few more structured carriers. And the first one I wanna talk about is this one. This is the Ergo Baby Omni 360, and I believe this is called Classic Weave. And this is actually primarily my husband's baby carrier, but I definitely use it too. This is probably gonna be your best option if you are very active and outdoorsy and you want to be able to take your baby on hikes a lot and do that kind of stuff. It's also the most versatile in terms of how you can position your baby. So you can wear them in front of you, facing you, in front of you, facing out, on your back, which I think is why they call it the Omni 360 because there are so many different configurations you can put it in. This one is also very comfortable. The straps on this are very well padded, so it is more comfortable than like wearing a backpack because it's so cushiony. This is a pretty penny. This is not cheap, which I would say is probably the biggest con of it. We got ours on sale and it was still over $100, even like 30% off. So if you are gonna get this one, it is more of an investment, but it does also grow with your baby. He'll be in this for a very long time because there are so many different ways he can sit in it. For me personally, another con of this one is the aesthetic. It is not by any means ugly or bad looking. I think it's perfect for my husband. It fits his aesthetic very well. But for me, the mesh and the buckles aren't as like minimalist and elegant as I would want them to be. So I know that's a minor detail, but for me, that is important. And then lastly, it is difficult to get the baby out of this if you're by yourself. My husband says it's easy for him to get the baby in. Um, I have a little bit of a harder time with it, but probably because I haven't used it as much because I'm usually wearing my Solly baby wrap or the next one I'm about to show you. Um, but he says it's more difficult to get the baby out. So that's something to be mindful of as well. So for the Ergo Baby, I usually leave the buckle that goes on your upper back clipped and I just put it on over my head. Then I take the bottom section and put it all the way up as high as I can get on my rib cage under my boobs and I buckle that in the back making sure that I tuck the tag in. Then I pull on the straps to tighten that and I grab Rowan, 
His favorite way to do this one is the front facing carry. So as you can see, I kind of have to chimmy him in there. Sometimes it takes a minute or two and you can loosen the top to make this a little bit easier. For me, it works to just kind of lower him down. Then I pull his legs through to make sure he's in a good seated position and I tighten the side straps to make sure that he is nice and secure. To take him out of this one, I unbuckle one of the front clips, pull the shoulder strap over my head, and just pull him out. Then the last one that I wanted to talk about is the Sakura Bloom Scout. Um, and this one is kind of the perfect marriage between the Ring Sling and the Omni 360 in that it is more structured, it's very comfortable, your baby's weight is distributed very well so your back isn't hurting, but it is also so, so pretty. So I got the flax linen one, which is very neutral, with the butterscotch leather and oh, the smell of leather. They do also have non-leather versions if you prefer not to have leather or other animal products. So basically how this one works is it has like backpack straps kind of that go on your shoulders, but then it also has a ring sling portion that ties around your waist and a ring that goes on your back. And that's for the front carry. You can also do the back carry. Rowan isn't quite big enough to do the back carry yet, but he loves the front carry. I like that he can kind of look around and be more active in this one. His legs are very free, his arms are free. If you do end up getting this one, I would definitely recommend scheduling a consultation with their baby wearing specialist. I believe it's free. This is a little bit tricky to learn how to put on um, and I often have Matt help me with it. I can do it by myself, but it's easier if you have a second person helping you with it. But this is one of those ones that you can wear for a very long time. So you could do a hike in this, you could go to the farmer's market in this. Baby is very secure, your back isn't gonna hurt. And it's also just so, so pretty. Again, this one is not cheap, but for me, it was definitely worth it because I kind of got that marriage of like the more heavy duty, but also very pretty. So for the Sakura Bloom, the first thing that you do is do the ring sling portion on the bottom and the baby wearing consultant at the company told me that the most common mistake that she sees is people not putting this one on upside down so that's a pro tip you do have to put it on upside down and you just pull the tail all the way through the two rings and then back over the first one and under the second one you can fan out the fabric in between the two rings and then pull the tail to make sure that it's nice and tight and not twisted at all then you're gonna grab your little baby and pull the body of the carrier up in between their legs there is a little string that tightens kind of in between where their knees go so you want to make sure that that fits right in the crease of their knees so you can tighten or loosen it depending on how big your baby is then you put the straps over your shoulders and this is where it can get a little bit complicated I loosen the straps so that I can reach the second ring that goes on the top of your back and then just like I did for the wild bird ring sling I pull that piece through both of the rings and then over the first one and under the second one Lastly, I tighten those straps that I loosened to make sure that he's nice and secure and snug against my chest and I'm ready to go. To get him out of it, I loosen those straps again so that I can reach the back rings and I undo the leather piece in the back. Then I just slip the straps off of my shoulders, lower the carrier and pick up my baby. So overall, I would say that my recommendation is definitely get a solid baby wrap, particularly if you are expecting um, and you're gonna have a newborn so that they can nap on you, that is great. But if you're looking for a more structured option, both of these are really, really great. They're obviously very different aesthetics, so it kind of depends on what you want in that department. Personally, I cycle through the Sakura Bloom and the Solly for day-to-day -day use. I use them both. I probably use the Solly a little bit more just because the Sakura Bloom is more difficult to get on and off by myself but it is a lifesaver when it comes to longer wear and doing things outside so that is my little review of the best baby wearing gear I hope that this helped you figure out what baby carrier is best for you if you want to see a part two of this please let me know because I do have <laughs> other baby wearing gear that I can definitely review for you. But I thought these four were the most important ones to hit because they're very popular and they're also some of our most used products. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you lots and I'll see you all in my next video.